undocking of uh, the Sparex has happened successfully. And this achievement, in fact, uh, marks a significant milestone in India's space exploration, particularly for future missions like the Bharti Antariksh Station, the Chandrayaan-4 and Gaganyaan. There are live visuals coming in of the Dragon capsule aboard uh, the capsule is uh, Captain Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla. And uh, remember, he spent around three weeks in the International Space Station. We're now joined by uh, our guests as well. We have Devdatta Mishra, former senior program manager, Gaganyan Project Human Space Flight Center, ISRO. And we have Dr. Amitabha Ghosh, space scientist. Uh, let me first go across to uh, Mr. Mishra. Mr. Mishra, how would you like to, uh, you know, define this moment that we are all witnessing? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thanks now for inviting us <clears throat> to be part of this historic uh, journey of Subhan Um I, I feel this is a achievement not only for him alone, but this is achievement of India as a whole. And I'm very sure my colleagues at uh, Human Space Flight Center ISRO will be very excited uh, to meet him and to get the first hand input from him because it will be very helpful. Uh, in in uh, integrating is all real time experience inputs uh, in building our Gaganayan orbital vehicle, uh, which is in track. Uh, this is our indigenous space vehicle uh, orbital uh, vehicle system, which will be carrying our uh, Indian astronaut to space very soon. It is as per the schedule. And we did just hear um, information. And uh, Dragon has uh, this is this 20 days mission accomplished by Group of Things to will be definitely uh, and is now on a in many aspects in understanding the technological uh, mitigating of this mm. human space exploration mm. and the time is spent in international space station also will be very much useful Absolutely. in uh, re redefining and designing our future and upcoming missions. Absolutely. Mr. Mishra, please stay on with us. So, undocking done, now homecoming next. Let's also listen into uh, the the live uh, commentary that is currently underway, explaining no, each and every process, each and every step. Exited the approach ellipsoid. That means the vehicle is now on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory, which means the spacecraft would not cross into the approach ellipsoid for at least 24 hours again, even if it lost all maneuvering. So now that the crew and Dragon have exited the approach ellipsoid, they are settling in for their journey back to Earth. That journey will take about 22 so more hours to the until they splash on. Is reconnected and powered on. Houston copies. That journey will take about 22 more hours until they splash down off the coast of California tomorrow, Tuesday, July 15th at 4.31 a.m. Central, 5.31 a.m. Eastern. Now that Dragon has exited the approach ellipsoid, the team here in Mission Control Houston will continue to monitor, but prime responsibility for the spacecraft and the crew are going to be transferred to the SpaceX and Axiom space teams. We also heard that they are working on steps to deconfigure the big loop. That big loop was configured earlier today during those hatch close operations, and it is a joint communication loop um, between NASA, SpaceX, the International Space Station crew, and the Dragon crew during joint operations. All right, so what you're witnessing uh, is the live uh, visual that we are getting from NASA and, of course, the uh, commentary on the progress that is being made by the Dragon Corp capsule about uh, which are the astronauts, the four of them who spent three weeks on board the International Space Station. One of them, of course, uh, Shubhanshu Shukla, who's the second Indian to be in space and the first one, in fact, to enter the International now Space Station Dragon and to spend uh, so successfully much time there, three Weeks during this our joint coverage will come to a close as responsibility of the spacecraft and crew is now in the hands of SpaceX and Axiom Space. But thank you so much for joining us this morning for our coverage of hatch closure as well as our coverage of undocking for the Axiom Mission 4 crew. With that, I will go ahead and hand it back over to Jesse and John in Hawthorne, California as we conclude our coverage. But until next time, this is Mission Control Houston.
Awesome. Thanks, Anna. Now, the XCM Mission 4 crew has just begun their 22-and-a-half-hour journey, so next up the crew will doff or remove their space suits to get a little bit more comfortable for that flight back mm -hmm. home. Our teams here on the ground will continue to keep an eye on the weather to ensure a safe return to Earth for Dragon and the AX4 crew. And should the current projections hold starting at 4.28 a.m. Eastern Time uh, or 1.28 a.m. Pacific Time on Tuesday, July 15th, Axiom Space and SpaceX will pick up with live coverage of the conclusion of this AX4 mission. That's right, and should teams need to adjust the timing of the crew's return, it's our plan to go live about an hour before splashdown. So for the latest timing of the final stage of the AX4 journey, please be sure to visit axiomspace.com and spacex.com for updates. So from all of us at Axiom Space, thank you to NASA for the incredible efforts made on this mission towards the shared goal of conducting meaningful work in low Earth orbit. This has been the mission to realize the return to human spaceflight for three incredible nations with big things on the horizon. So to our viewers in India, Poland, and Hungary, your crew members will be back on Earth soon, so stay tuned. And thank you for following their journey on board the International Space Station. And thank you to all of you, the viewers, for tuning in today. We'll see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for a splashdown of AX4. Well, we are all, of course, on uh, standby. The undocking has been done and homecoming is going to be the next uh, splashdown that will happen somewhere in California. Uh, let me, in fact, go across to uh, Dr. Amitabha Ghosh, space scientist on the broadcast with us. Before we speak about future implications, the 22 and a half hour long journey has just begun. And what uh, must be happening at the moment, if you could throw some light on that? Right. So, you know, it looks very, you know, you look on the TV screen, it looks very... Um, we've gotten used to people coming back from the International Space Station, but at least it's a huge journey. See, when you, so so from from where I live, from Washington to Delhi, there is a nonstop flight, for, um, and it takes maybe 15 hours. So this is more than that. Mm. And this flight from Washington to Delhi is probably about 10,000 miles. Here, it is probably... Uh, 300,000 miles or 30 times more. So this spacecraft is about to uh, travel 30 times more miles. And the attitude of the spacecraft, altitude of the spacecraft is 250 miles. So that has to come, come down to zero. The speed is going to be perhaps around 17,000 miles per hour, which is what? Uh, uh, 35 times that of a commercial airliner. So this is, and, and the last phase is nothing what a commercial airliner does. Uh, there is going to be a re-entry and there's going to be huge temperatures at that point. Mm. That is where the heat protects the spacecraft. Um, that is where you're going to lose communication with the spacecraft because it's so hot. So it looks very, the, if you look at the animations, it looks very tame, but this is a fiery journey. And, you know, um, we have been looking at it for, a few couple of decades on TV. Uh, just as you know, when we see the Mars landings, mm. it looks very easy, but it's 200 million miles away. So, it, it, so this is a huge journey. And um, for the people who are the astronauts who are inside the spacecraft at this time, right. um, it's very, um, there, there's a lot of apprehension. Absolutely. Um, uh, Mr. Mishra and Dr. Ghosh, I'm interrupting you there for a second because uh, I have my colleague Adib joining us on the broadcast and he's joined by Shubhanshu Shukla's parents. Over to you, Adib. Uh, well, definitely, Swati. Uh, auntie, uh, sabse pehle, uh, docking ki, jo unlocking ki process has started. Ho hai. Wapas aare, 15 ghanti ki journey hai. Kis tarah se aapki kya feeling se kaisa lag raha hai? Acha lag raha hai, bahut acha lag raha hai. Jo kuch abhi dekh ke aaye, to us visaab se lag raha ki bahut badiya lag raha. Jaldi se dharti pe wapas aaye aur milenge aake humse tarant. Acha, aap logo ki lagatar prarthna hai chal rahi thi. Kya lagta hai prarthna ka jawab mil raha hai? Shubhanshu ki wapsi ho rahi hai. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल प्रार्थना का तो असर होता ही होता है कोई भी करे मंदिर में जाके मंदिर होते ही इसीलिए पवित्र माने गए हैं जो वहाँ की गई प्रार्थना है वो सब सफल होती है जश्न कैसे मनने वाला है क्या तैयारियाँ होंगी जश्न की अब आएंगे तो जश्न भरपूर होगा खूब अच्छे से जश्न मनाएंगे उनका आने के बाद और, और क्या शुभ क्या उम्मीदें हैं शुभांशु से आ, क्या मानते हैं की शुभांशु ने जो है कई लोगों को जो है इंस्पायर किया है 
बिल्कुल किया है उसकी वजह से आगे की सारी जनरेशन जो है वो इंस्पायर होगी हमें पूरा विश्वास है उन्होंने जो कदम उठाया उसको बहुत देख के लोग खुश होंगे लास्ट टाइम कब बात हुई थी आप लोगों की कल हुई थी क्या बताया था उन्होंने बस यही बताया था कि आज सब पैक कर रहे हैं और पैकिंग हो रही है कल अब यहाँ से निकलना है अब बात नहीं होगी इसके बाद जब वापस आ जाएंगे तभी बात होगी आप लोग जब अभी लाइव देख रहे थे पूरी प्रोसेस अनडॉकिंग की तो क्या फीलिंग्स थी क्योंकि आप माँ हैं एक डर भी रहता है माँ के मन में तो क्या उस टाइम पे फीलिंग थी नहीं डर नहीं लग रहा था लाकि की उनकी सबकी तैयारी हो रही थी ड्रेसअप हो रहे थे और लेटा के उनको सब पैक किया जा रहा था सब वही सब पूरा देखा प्रोसेस हमने तो अच्छा लग रहा था तो अभी जो पंद्रह घंटे है जब तक वो वापस नहीं आ पाते हैं पृथ्वी में क्या कुछ चिंताएं रहेगी या प्रार्थनाएं जारी रहेंगी आपकी बिल्कुल चिंता तो रहेगी जब तक सफल लैंडिंग नहीं हो जाती तब तक तो चिंता रहेगी ही रहेगी लैंडिंग हो जाने के बाद थोड़ा सा संतोष मिलेगा कि हाँ अच्छा बच्चा हमारा अच्छे से पहुंच गया नीचे जब क्वारंटीन का वक्त पूरा हो जाएगा क्या क्या मुलाकात की आप लोगों के लिए है आप लोग जाएंगे या शुभांशु को आने की कुछ उम्मीद ये आने के बाद ही पता लगेगा उनका क्या प्रोग्राम है कैसे क्या है You heard uh, the mother of uh, Shubhanshu Shukla. I will also uh, try and get, get the father uh, for exclusively for us. Uh, this was uh, the mother of uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, uh, who was speaking exclusively uh, to us, uh, and uh, will uh, just uh, try to get in a word from uh, father. Uh, sir, किस तरह से आपने जो है क्या पूरी undocking process कितनी खुशी है इस अनडॉकिंग प्रोसेस की अब शुभांशु की घर वापसी आ रही जी है वो बच्चे ने जो है टाइम से उसकी अनडॉकिंग हुई है और सही सलामत डॉकिंग है पूरी जो रिपोर्ट है वो दी गई है तो वो उसको अनडॉकिंग बहुत अच्छी तरह हुई है बाकी अनडॉकिंग में अब चूंकि अनडॉकिंग अच्छी तरह हो गई है तो लैंडिंग भी बड़ी अच्छी तरह होगी एक एक कंसर्न रहता है माता पिता के मन में कि जब तक बच्चे की सेफली वापसी ना हो जाए क्या वो कंसर्न आप लोग के मन में अभी भी है नहीं हमें ज्यादा इस नहीं बच्चे ने पूरा वो कर दिया था श्योर कर दिया था कि आप बिल्कुल चिंता ना करें बिल्कुल हम सही सलामत सब कुछ जो है टाइम से होगा और हम वापस आते हैं और उसके बाद आपसे बात करेंगे जब हम थोड़ा मेडिकली वो कर दिए जाएंगे तो बात करेंगे शुभांशु का आप मानते हैं कि शुभांशु ने एक पूरे न सिर्फ लखनऊ के लिए बल्कि पूरे भारत का नाम रोशन किया है और कितने लोगों को इंस्पायर किया है वो तो करोड़ों लोगों को जो बच्चे हैं नौजवान हैं युवा हैं उनके लिए सबके लिए मैसेज उन्होंने किए हैं और बच्चों को स्कूलों में दो स्कूलों में बात की है अब वो जो है सभी को मोटिवेट करते हैं कड़ी मेहनत करो कड़ी उसका वो लगन से अपना काम करो और अगर एक प्रयास में नहीं सफल होते हो तो प्रयास करते रहो सफल होगी जो अनडॉकिंग प्रोसेस आप लोग अभी लाइव देख रहे थे किस तरह से क्या फीलिंग थी उस टाइम आप लोगों की बहुत अच्छा लगा कि मतलब जो है टाइमली जो है जो चीज हुई अब ये चीज तो नहीं थी हम लोगों के लिए पहले पता नहीं था तो बड़ा अच्छा लगा उसकी प्रार्थनाएं लगातार जारी रहेंगी प्रार्थना लगातार जारी रहेंगी ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करते रहेंगे कि वो उसका आशीर्वाद जो हमारे बच्चे पर बना रहे ये पंद्रह घंटे का एक लंबा सफर है कैसे बीतने वाला आप लोगों के लिए भी बिल्कुल नॉर्मल बीतेगा बाईस घंटे का है सफर बाईस घंटे लगेंगे तो हमें अच्छी तरह बीतेंगे ऊपर वाले को मतलब जो है प्रार्थना करेंगे और समय सब आते जाते रहते हैं आप लोग भी आते हैं सब लोग बातें करते रहते हैं इसी टाइम बीत जाए आ, क्या मानते हैं कि जो शुभांशु का स्कूल है कल लगातार जो वहाँ पे भी आप लोग जाएंगे वहाँ पे भी तैयारियाँ की गई हैं जो शुभांशु के स्कूल में जो तैयारियाँ की गई हैं आप लोग कल वहाँ पे भी जाएंगे स्क्रीनिंग वहाँ पे भी लाइव देखेंगे किस तरह की वहाँ की तैयारियों के लिए आप उम्मीद कर रहे हैं नहीं कल लैंडिंग है तो लैंडिंग एक बड़ा भाग मतलब हमारे लिए तो बहुत ही एक उत्सव का होगा कि मतलब हमारा बच्चा जो है सक्सल वापस आ रहा है तो हम इसके लिए जो है बिल्कुल तैयार हैं तो उसको चाहेंगे कि मतलब जो है अच्छी तरह लैंडिंग हो जाए बस यही हमारी कल लैंडिंग कल लैंडिंग के बाद पूरे मोहल्ले वालों के लिए सबके लिए यहाँ पे मिठाइयों का इंतजाम होगा आप लोगों की तरफ से बिल्कुल बिल्कुल हंड्रेड परसेंट होगा सुस्वती यू हर्ड एक्सक्लूसिवली द पेरेंट्स ऑफ शुभांशु शुक्ला स्पीकिंग टू टाइम्स नाउ दिस से दैट दे आर वेरी हैप्पी विद दी अनडॉकिंग प्रोसेस एंड दे आर वेटिंग एंशियसली फॉर द सेफ रिटर्न ऑफ ग्रुप कैप्टन एंड एस्ट्रोनॉट शुभांशु शुक्ला टू द प्लानेट अर्थ Absolutely, it must have been the initial few tense moments, but uh, a proud moment all together for the entire country and for the family, of course. Adiv, thank you for getting us those uh, reactions from the parents of Shubhanshu Shukla, who is on his way now uh, back to Earth. Well, Shubhanshu Shukla's space visit was no tour or field trip. It carries a lot of significance. In his 20 odd days up there, Shubhanshu Shukla and team completed several objectives that will not just uh, uh, India's but the
global space program and interest. Let's in fact take you through the experiments that were conducted by the team. Shubhanshu Shukla space experiments is what we are focusing on at the moment. Myogenesis, what is that? Studying the role of microgravity in muscle loss. Then there was tardigrade, testing survival of the extremophile organisms. Moong and methi seeds, Indian staples grown, tests farming in space. You had the cyanobacterial growth as well, two strains that were monitored for photosynthesis. Microalgae study that explores use uh, for food, fuel and oxygen in space. Crop seeds, six seed types that were grown under space flight. These are all the experiments that were carried out. That also includes Voyager displays that monitors hand-eye coordination in orbit. Well, this space sojourn was not just a big moment for Shubhanshu Shukla, but also for India. This has only happened once before. Let us take you through the only two Indians to have achieved this. Rakesh Sharma and Shubhanshu Shukla. Uh, first Indian in space. Rakesh Shukla uh, was the first Indian in space and Shubhanshu Shukla is the second Indian to go to space. Uh, Shubhanshu Shukla, uh, Rakesh uh, Sharma, Wing Commander Indian Air Force and Shubhanshu Shukla, uh, Group Captain of the Indian Air Force. As far as Rakesh Sharma is concerned, he went on the 3rd of April 1984 and uh, Shubhanshu Shukla went on the 25th of June 2025. Rakesh Sharma was aboard the Soviet Soyuz T-11 and Shubhanshu Shukla was aboard Private Dragon spacecraft. He's in the capsule at the moment as we speak on his way back to planet Earth. Uh, Rakesh uh, Sharma was in space for seven days and Shubhanshu Shukla not just in space but in the International Space Station for 14 days. Now, uh, Shubhanshu Shukla's historic feat has made the entire nation proud. Let's listen to some of the messages that are coming in. This is a great feat of achievement, uh, especially not only to Mr. Shukla and it's for the entire country. The country is really proud of him. It's a rare feat that can't be done by anyone. Okay. It can be emulated in the future by the other people. He will serve as an inspiration to many. First of all, I think we should all, as Indians, we should be proud and extend a warm welcome back home. The kind of toll it takes on the body and on the mind is something we can't even imagine. And to be India's sole resource to gather this kind of knowledge is truly you know, our country's asset. Welcome home. Welcome back. As a fellow citizen, extremely proud of him. And also, I hope he will bring with him a wealth of knowledge, you know, that human experience in space and ISS. Well, the Dragon capsule on board, uh, the capsule is Shubhanshu Shukla along with others and it's uh, on its way to planet Earth. It's a 22 and a half hour long journey. A very quick break. We'll, of course, keep you updated about uh, every single process and step involved in this.